What's up game boys and girls big T here back with another video in this video I just want to kind of discuss uh, the I guess uh, I was gonna say potential but actually wasted potential if you will um, of the switch eShop um, now we all know that <laughs> there is a lot left to be desired when it comes to switches uh, online features and capabilities um, but also just you know what Nintendo could be doing uh, with the eShop uh, they just uh, there really is really not a whole lot going on there and they could be doing a lot more uh, specifically people want virtual console and Nintendo said they weren't gonna do virtual console um, for the switch pretty early on which was you know mostly fine with me uh, but I, I was expecting that they would do something else like add something cool uh, uh, you know that we weren't expecting and uh, there was a lot of opportunity for that uh, especially now that you look at something like Game Pass where Nintendo has these just amazing uh, first-party titles that they could you know put out there as a service on the switch now obviously we have the SNES NES online which leaves again leaves a lot to be desired and as far as I'm concerned should be its own separate thing I, sh I shouldn't be forced to pay for something that I'm not going to use um, just so I can play online it should be a separate thing there should be tiers to where um, if you wanted to have that and online that's one tier itself and then just online is a different tier and uh, that's the way I think they should play it uh, but unfortunately not uh, I'm being forced to again I've never once used SNES or NES online uh, to play those old games because I have way too many ways to do it on original hardware or emulate it So I don't really need that um, and Again me specifically. I don't really care as much about virtual console for the same reasons Because uh, I just end up tend to playing those types of games on the original uh, hardware. That's just how I am uh, But that doesn't mean that feature shouldn't still be available uh, and just be utilized for you know Nintendo fans. That's something we should be able to have if we want to be able to do that. Uh, then maybe there's a chance that I would, uh, especially if I'm on the go with my Switch, play some classic N64 or GameCube titles. And for me, uh, those would, are the ones that would really do well because uh, you have so many titles out there that is just way too expensive to play otherwise. Um, uh, it's funny because I think on Nintendo's online uh, on the website they talk about you know uh, ways to play classic games and they tell you different places to go to buy them like eBay and I'm like are these guys serious they're sending money somewhere else uh, they should be making that money on their own and not only that but it's laughable because again some of those cartridges or discs are super expensive stuff like Fire Emblem Path of Radiance on GameCube. That game is astronomical in price. Luckily, I, I have it. I bought it uh, back in the day. But if you didn't, you're you know you're out. Um, and just GameCube games in general are just all going up. Um, and N64. I've noticed N64 games are shooting up right now. It's just like my goodness. Again, I'm glad I bought all this stuff. Uh, but yeah, the prices are going up for whatever reasons right now. I don't know. Um, and not great games like Earthworm Jim. 3D, which is nobody likes that game. <laughs> it's a cool looking cartridge. It's yellow and all that stuff, but nobody likes that game. Um, and almost nobody bought it, but maybe that's why it's rare. I think that's actually it right there on my um, behind me. So <clears throat> I think that game's over a hundred bucks now. And it's just like, you know, there's nothing Nintendo could do about that because it's a third party game, but like their first party titles, their Mario parties, etc., especially on N64 and on GameCube, are all shooting up. Now, obviously, that would kind of cannibalize what they're doing uh, with Super Mario Party and the, that one coming soon uh, with all the, you know, all the retro boards and whatnot from the N64 game. So that would, you know, affect that. So I could see where maybe they would hold back on that. But uh, if they never intend on doing anything with F Zero, you know, everybody wants that. I was just playing it the other day. So much fun, still great to play. Um, and it'd be nice to be able to play that online against other people. Uh, you know, so that's something they could actually add. Because uh, they've done that. They've added online to like NES games. Uh, so that would be cool. Yeah, so it's just, to me, they're just, it's just wasted potential. Um, if you guys know, 
2017, 2018, I was super on Switch bandwagon. I loved it from the beginning. I was one of the first people, and I will say again, one of the first people that said way early in 2017, I was saying the Switch was gonna outsell the Wii. People, I don't think so, I don't know, I don't know. Here we are, almost 90 million strong, and uh, it looks like I'm gonna be right about that. Um, so you can't say that, oh, I'm a hater. <laughs> well, it's just what some people wanna say when I point out issues with Nintendo, but these are things that they could fix, they could do that would make the system real cool, uh, even cooler, you know? And um, maybe I won't mo uh, moan as much for IPs uh, that they haven't been using if I can, you know, play those games again, at least, on the current system. So that's just something I was thinking about. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, are you fine with everything the Switch does or doesn't do? Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't liked the video, make sure you do that. Subscribe if you haven't already to get more cool videos and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you fools in the next one. Peace out.